Hello, it's Drake, and I'll be talking to you a little bit about the Bakai. Uh, some of the things that stood out to me was how exciting and suspenseful it was throughout the whole whole play. Um, it really kept the reader interested and engaged, kind of excited, um, looking forward to what was going to be next. Uh, some other things are the ex very ex unexpected ending. It was extremely morbid, um, and really did not see that coming, but that's, that's how things go sometimes, I guess. Uh, some of the big themes of the Bakai were femininity. That was probably a very big one that stood out to me. Um, it, it may show that they kind of dislike their current status um, and kind of just how they were unhappy at the time, uh, especially with like the whole being like constrained and then going wild with Dionysus, I guess, and once they had that freedom. Another big uh, big theme was transformation. We see that, especially with Dionysus, how he is a god and then he comes and appears in his human form for m much of the play, um, where he is very elusive and sneaky, trying to get people to do what he wants for his vengeful ways. Um, he eventually does come back down in his god form, so that kind of promotes that transformation. Another thing is the women with their transformation to like the main ends, I guess. Um, we do see that, and so they're very contained, or they're extremely wild as the Maenads. And lastly, we have Pentheus, who is like the king, and then we see him go through the womanization, so to say, where he puts on the dress and the wig, and then is led to the Maenads. Um, so that's a big transformation there, um, gender and, I guess, like, social-wise, it's a big transformation. Uh, lastly, the third theme is rule versus like freedom. Um, we see that mainly how Pentheus rules, um, the women are unhappy and all that, and then they are like free as the Maenads. So Maenads play a very important part in this story um, and how they are portrayed throughout the whole thing. Um, so that's kind of the last one, just the whole rule versus like the freedom. Um, now onto the Maenads more. These are like the crazed followers of Dionysus. Um, throughout the whole whole play, they're seen as like range more or less uh very crazy they are extremely extreme so to say um like they're on drug drugs or something they're just wild and crazed um and it's very consistent they they hold that role through very much of the play until like the very end with agave where we see her kind of like snap back to reality and realize what she had done um so she calms down a bit and to go along with this uh this may tell us about how women back in the time weren't too happy, I guess. They didn't have many freedoms, um, so this may show their disliking of the times back then. Uh, so with Elvis on the cover, that, I believe he is on there because he exhibits a very, very good example of radicalness or being different from everyone else, and he's also extremely evocative, uh, or at least people thought he was back in the time. Um, so I think that he's a very fitting um, person to be on the cover of this play. So now my questions for you are, did Pentheus deserve his brutal punishment of being torn apart? And lastly, do you think that it was okay for Dionysus to be so brutal to everyone? Thanks.